Hey guys, what's happening? It's Eric Becker, naturopath, author of Candida Crusher. Today we're going to talk about recognizing jock itch. How do you know if you've got it? How do you know if you're suffering with this condition? Right, so jock itch is a condition that affects men, but it can affect women. Okay, so jock itch is generally a condition caused by some kind of fungus. So you've all heard about Candida. Candida albicans is a common thing that we talk about, but Candida itself is not really a yeast that affects the groin of guys necessarily. Candida albicans is associated with women's vaginal uh, infections, but not so much with a guy if he's got it around the scrotal region or the inner thigh or around the rectal region. You know, so those areas um, aren't really so much affected by Candida, uh, but probably more so by trichophyton uh, or, or various sort of molds like that. So tinea crudis uh, is another organism that can affect uh, the groin region of a guy. So how do we know we've got this thing? What are the signs and symptoms? Well, let's look at what signs and symptoms are for start. Okay, Signs are something that the doctor recognizes. The doctor can see these. The doctor can do a scraping and actually culture that and get that checked out. Okay, That's a sign that you've got a condition. A sign is also a redness or, you know, or the color discoloration of the skin. So that's very uh, objective. You can see that. Okay, it's tangible. It's quantifiable. A symptom is what you're feeling. You're experiencing the symptom. So symptoms aren't something we can necessarily see or quantify with a test. A symptom is subjective. You can feel pretty bad, and yet the doctor may not be able to uh, recognize this as a sign. Maybe even say you got it all in your head. And some people with candida are often told that they're they're going crazy and there's nothing wrong with them. So symptoms and signs are what you'll commonly experience. Well, symptoms of athlete's foot are itching because we can't really see itching, but we experience it, we can feel it. And generally, um, the itching, I find, will often start on one part of the body first. You know, So the guy will often experience the itching here, for example, on the side here, right around this region here. He could experience it both sides or around underneath here, but we'll generally experience it on one side first. And then when he's got that on one side, he's going to be scratching that pretty bad. All right. And uh, it could be anything ranging from a mild scratch up to like a real severe scratch, bad scratch. It can also not just involve the inner thigh up around the scrotal region, but it can involve the whole penis region um, and all around the anal region as well. So I've seen people so bad with it, you know, the skin's just cracked and bleeding. It's, it's pretty shocking. So... Jock itch can involve that whole area, but the characteristic symptom you're going to experience is itching. Now, that itching can sometimes be relieved by hot water or cold water. That can sometimes make it feel better. Um, the signs are really the rash. So you're going to see a rash there. It'll be a red rash, and it could be a bit of bronzing or browning sort of towards the center of the rash. There could be little blisters or bubbles around it. You really don't want to scratch this with your fingernails. So if you've got fingernails and you're going to get into it and scratch it, you can really rip the skin open and create bacterial infections. So then you've not only got jock itch to contend with, but you've got a bacterial infection that will need some kind of a antibiotic or cream to, to heal that. So you really don't want to go there and scratch the hell out of it. It's not going to fix it up. So sometimes cold or hot water applications will, will make it feel better. You can also use uh, different types of um, natural products on this. Tea tree oil based soap to wash the area twice a day with this pretty smart move. And also some tea tree oil cream I find to be quite good. Check out my other videos and I'll talk also about lifestyle and diet changes. You know, alcohol, foods you can eat that aggravate it, things like that. So you'll pick up some more tips on this channel. So I hope that sort of answers your question about the signs and symptoms of jock itch, okay? So the itch is characteristic. There can be a musty odor about it sometimes as well. Uh, the redness or the bronzing or the brown, uh, these are all common things that you'll experience as well. Thanks for tuning in.